Welcome back. I have now owned my 2023 EQS 580 sedan for one year. And as we do want all birthdays, I'm going to take a look at this past year, give you some thoughts on the car, and tell you some things that come with having a car for a year. But first, I'm going to let you know, as I do every month, that as of today, I have driven 13,170 plus miles, and I've paid a grand total of $367 to keep this car charged to go that distance. The things about the car that I am most fond of, in fact, the thing that makes this car absolutely unique among all the cars manufactured by anybody is the hyperscreen. This massive 56 inch display, which is actually three screens, is just amazing. I've got a 17 inch center screen, almost a 13 inch screen in front of me, a 13 inch screen in front of the passenger, and nothing else compares to it. That feature alone makes buying the 580 over any other model worth doing. The S Class, with all of its capabilities, without the hyper screen, does not compare to my EQS 580. And so I absolutely love it. But as I look at the car, I look at the interior, the interior is absolutely best looked at at night. So as you look at it at night, the back seat looks beautiful with the armrest down, the ambient lights going off. As you look into the front seat, again, the ambient lights just walk around the car and they have that beautiful hyper screen showing its value. And the interior of this car is just magnificent. Then as you look at the outside, as you take a walk around this beautiful car, you see the way the tail lights loop. You see the way the front lights have the bar going all the way across. I have had several people compare it to a spaceship. The way this car looks at night when it's driving, whether it be on the outside of this car or the inside of this car, is absolutely phenomenal. And it just really makes the whole thing a pleasure. And then when you look at this car in the daytime, the interior continues to look beautiful with the back seats and the front seat all matching the very nice steering wheel that's comfortable and heats up when I need it to. And then the hyper screen there in front of me helping me get through my day. Not to mention the massages and the heated and cool seats. Driving this car is just an absolute pleasure and provides me a great moment of peace as I go to work, home from work. It just puts me in that place I need to be. And then as you look around the car on the outside, in the daytime, it just sparkles. It will just look magnificent for years to come. As we go around the car and admire its beauty, one thing we don't look at often, in fact, I've never shown you my trunk area, I don't think. So as we open the trunk, we see it has this massive back open trunk area. It's even larger than the S-Class. And it has the canopy that covers the back, but I can take that down so I have even more space. And in fact, the back seats go down, and I could really put a lot in this car if I wanted to. But within that large, massive trunk, there's a smaller trunk area with a flip open latch, and that's where I keep my tire repair kit. I have a first aid kit. Nice little tucked away area. So at the one year mark, they have told me that I have a number of features that I now need to start paying for, which I received free for my first year. And as I discovered, it's $150 for a year, <clears throat> which is only $12.5 a month for these 27 digital extras. And that includes stolen vehicle assist, car to excommunication, which allows my car to be notified of conditions on the road that might be hazardous or accidents, that kind of thing. The other map apps have, but now it's part of my navigation system. Remote vehicle finder, theft notification, parking damage, online music like Apple Play or Apple Music, Amazon Music, 
things of that nature. Parking for navigation. Now, what that means is if I'm driving in an area that has a parking lot that is uh, got its information online, my car will now know where parking spots are available. Valet protect. Uh, weather forecast. This is anywhere you, you're going to go. The digital light projections that I love so much. The sound experience that I use here and there. Online map updates. That's huge because on my Chrysler car, they want $175 for a map update alone. And so having $150, having the map updates just naturally part of the car is really a great value. The radio service, satellite imagery, global search, personalization, augmented radio, vehicle locator, geofencing, vehicle tracker, weather map, internet radio, local searches, live traffic information, online routing, mini games, Tetris, and a more remote door locking and unlocking. All told, 27 items for $12.50 a month. Some of these you don't use a lot. Some of these I use every time I get in the car. So overall, I think, in perspective, it's really great value. And I will be updating that when we're done making the video. I did want to show you something I haven't talked about. And that was reference is one of the things I'm paying for. And that's the mini games. My, but my grandson absolutely loves being the green guys and the red guys in shuttle puck. My granddaughter is very competitive and wants to win this game because what you try to do is knock the puck into the other team's goal. What my grandson loves doing is simply making the pucks go. And if you win, you get a little thing. And at the end of the game, you get a little short fireworks show, and it's absolutely a terrific time, and he loves that one. Another one he loves is the Pairs game, which is your memory game, which is terrific for a three-year-old to love. There's two different sets of patterns, and it's just a memory game. But for a three-year-old, it's a thrill to watch this game progress. The game I play most often is match three. They provide five, six, seven, eight, nine levels, each of which includes 15 levels. So you have nine times 15 levels, and the objective is simply to match three, and if you match more, you get bonuses. And your objective is to get either just the, the points or to get rid of certain types of icons, like in that case, it was for the watches, and it's just a fun game. You can... And here are the Halloween graphical goodies. Thanks to our friends at Mercedes. A nice little touch. Looking forward, Mercedes has talked about entertainment packages for the cars. We can watch online videos and so forth. And that'll be fun to have. And I look forward to seeing what they do with that. I'm also looking forward to seeing what Mercedes does with the EQS models. They're already working on better batteries and higher capacity batteries. And they've got one car that's already gone over 700 miles on a single charge. And so I'm looking forward to those advancements when they can finally put the power opening doors on the cars for us and the other features that I was really looking forward to that because of supply chain, I couldn't get in the car. But it's exciting that the future is so bright. And that's it. A quick look back at some of the things I've loved about this car from this last year, the expenses I'm now going through and the things I'm gonna renew and have renewed for this car for now and be doing every year and then the future of the car whether it be software upgrades for this car right here or other upgrades that mercedes does for future brands of the eqs series i love my sedan it's the car for me and i'm looking forward to talking to you again when we reach year number two make it a great day